Hello, my name is Olivier Pojman. Welcome to my gallery at the Arclight in Hollywood. Uh, I will be showing uh, 30 of my favorite pieces and I hope you will enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Rest the soul of mine, rest the soul of mine. Trying to find a way for this restless soul of mine. Heading down to the place to feel good for a while. And soothe this restless soul of mine. Looking for some peace in this crazy world of mine. My art is about sharing. I want to share my emotions. I want to share how I felt when I was on location shooting. You know, it's all about sharing. I can bring people on a, on a photo shoot, so I want the people to see when they look at my work, I want them to, to, to feel that they are right there, you know, like the ocean you see in the back. I want people to feel like they're actually, you know, sitting at the beach, you know. It's like, I, I call it a, a, a window to the outside world. I kind of trick the eye shooting such a broad, um, you know, such a broad angle, you know, and I'm shooting it the way there is no distortion or, you know, so it looks real. It's like you're looking at the real thing. Some of the pieces here are 12, 12 feet long. It's really like being right on the location, you know, when you see, uh, you know, the ocean in front of you, you feel like being there. We're getting so much uh, bombarded with information lately. You know, people are you know looking at websites, computers, uh, you know, uh, phone, TV, and I think showing a still photograph as a fine art gives a little bit of a rest to people. People, you know, look, stand in front of the photograph, look at it, and that's a little moment of peace and quiet they have. You know, when, as an artist, when you see your work displayed in such a big environment, it's really a, a reward. That's a 12 feet piece of downtown LA, you know, and downtown LA is kind of a difficult to photograph because it's always polluted, hazy, it's not really clear, and that day it was like super clear. It's like, basically, you could be seated in your office looking through the window and that's what you see. This photograph to me expressed uh, maybe not sadness, but some, uh, some nostalgia. You look at those cars and then you transport it into another place in time, you know. Uh, it's almost like they kind of uh, appear of the dust, you know, coming from far away and coming to me. It's, it's a little bit, this kind of a ghostly effect, you know. It's, uh, it's a moment in time that's gone forever. When I look at those cars, it brings me into another era, you know. And, and, and shooting in a desert, it's kind of, a, you know, uh, it's rustic, it's, it's kind of rough, you know, you've got the dirt flying, you, uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, a, it's a tough location. I get really inspired being in a deserted location, you know, I went to Joshua Tree about 15 times in my life. That's really where I get the energy, I don't know if it's because of the light or just being by myself, surrounded by a beautiful piece of land. Like, you know, my work is very, uh, I would say, mainstream. I mean, you know, it's, it's not complicated, you know, either you like it or you don't. But what I really like, it's when a young, you know, young couple moving in together come and see me and buy the first piece of art. And I think that's the best. When people explain their, <laughs> their feelings of when they look at a photograph, like, you know, feeling the wind or feeling, smelling the ocean, I think, again, that's one of the best compliments. That's, my work is done, I don't have to do anything else, I don't even have to talk about it, you know. It's, uh, that's it, you know, you're looking at what I actually wanted to, to express. So fun, I learned some things along the way. You can't go back on what you've done, don't get me wrong. I've had some fun, the places and faces don't go away. Here I know, here I know, I still.